In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the TI-84 to do the independent samples t-test, and we're going to focus on the unpooled t-test when we, when we go through and do this. The unpooled t-test is also a hypothesis test on a quantitative variable for two independent groups is another way it's often described. So one of the first things that we have to do is we have to get the data into the calculator. And I'm going to pull up uh, the data set from example one that I used in class. So this will follow the, the notes from example one. Um, the data that I have is as follows. The ones and the zeros represent the gender. The ones are the males and the zeros are the females. And then these are the test scores. This is typically how we might see data uh, when we get it in a raw form, but we need to uh, input it into the calculator a little bit different. Now the question that I was looking at asking is, do males perform better on um, tests than females do? So let's go back to the calculator and take a look at that now that we know what the data looks like. So when I go through and I do this, I'm gonna hit my stats button first of all, and then I'm gonna choose edit to get into the edit area. And as I said earlier, I said, do males perform better than females on tests? But the way that I had the hypothesis test written in the example, I had mu1 is less than uh, mu2 for the alternative hypothesis. And I represented mu1 as the, the population mean for all female test scores, and mu2 is the population mean for all male test scores. So really an equivalent statement is really uh, mu1 is less than mu2, and this will follow the example that I did in class. So I'm typing the data for the female test scores in list 1 and the male test scores into, into list 2. So we have to put it in two different uh, lists when we use the calculator doing this. Now if we're using statistical software like SPSS or something, it would have to be in, in one column okay, rather than uh, two individual columns. Once we have the data into the graphing calculator, we'll go back to the stats menu and we are gonna choose tests. That's where all the inferential methods are. And if you look down at option number four, this is the two sample t-test. So we'll select that. And we have data, we type the data into the list. List one is going to be L1, which was the, the test scores for the, the females. List two is going to be the test scores for the males. So uh, like I said earlier, um, I said that the females perform essentially worse than what the males perform, so we wanna, or less than what the males perform. So we wanna select this one, that's what we're testing. And once we have that set up, we can go down to the calculate area. By the way, the pooled right here, this is really asking, are we doing a pooled t-test or an unpooled t-test? The default is no, which is a good thing. So that's gonna be the unpooled t-test. If you chose yes, um, we would be doing a pooled t-test, which we're not gonna cover in the class, okay? So I'll focus on the unpooled t-test and leaving that no. Uh, we'll go down, we'll choose calculate and enter. And once this comes up, it's going to spit, up the, spit out the output. And um, for the output, first of all, it tells us what our alternative hypothesis is. It says mu1 is less than mu2. In other words, the average test score for all females is lower than the average test score for all males. Our test statistic is a negative 0.494, and the p-value is 0.3155. So that's taken into, take into account that we're doing the left tail test, and that's the appropriate p-value. This degrees of freedom is from the estimated degrees of freedom. It's not using the more conservative method of the minimum of the two degrees of freedom. And then it summarizes our means, our standard deviations, and our sample size respectively. So this will give you all the output that you need in order to complete the hypothesis test for um, a quantitative variable with two independent samples, or in other words, the unpooled t-test.